Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Getting Snacky with Daryl. Alright, it's here. As you can see, Coke Coffee is now available. Uh, maybe certain markets might have had it already. Obviously I know other parts of the world already has it, but here in my area, I finally was able to get a hold of the new Coca-Cola with Coffee. Great Coca-Cola taste blended with rich, luxurious coffee. All right, I have three flavors here. There's technically five, I guess, here in the U.S. Uh, the other two uh, that's not here are the zero sugar versions of the vanilla and the dark blend. Uh, the caramel does not uh, come in a zero sugar, as far as I know. Um, also, caramel or caramel. I, I know I put this out in other videos, but I am definitely team caramel. Three syllables, team caramel. Let me know in the comments uh, which team you are. Uh, so, okay, here we go. So again, vanilla, dark roast, and caramel. Uh, co coffee, Coke with coffee. Um, I, this isn't anything new per se. I know, again, Coke has released these in other parts of the world, and I believe Pepsi may even have a, 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 a coffee version of their cola. And so I, this is not exactly new, but this is the newest uh, reiteration of it. And I have no idea how this is gonna taste. I, I purposely did not wanna do too much uh, research in the sense of like the flavoring and the taste of it. Cause uh, oddly enough, I actually don't drink a lot of coffee. Um, I would say if I had to pick on like on a chart, it'd be zero coffee. I rarely do, um, but I don't mind it. I like, and which is funny because I do like the Java and the Mocha and the coffee taste. I just don't drink coffee. Uh, so at any rate, here we go. Uh, just a little bit of uh, numbers here, 70 calories per can. And oh, where is it now? Here we go. Caffeine, 69 milligrams. Uh, per 12 fluid, ounce, fluid ounces. So again, 69 milligrams uh, for this 12 ounce can. Let me know if that's about right. Uh, I'm not sure what the average uh, coffee or caffeine is in an average cup of coffee. Let me know again, because I'm not a coffee drinker. All right, I'm gonna leave the caramel one for the end because uh, that's probably, think, I'm thinking it's gonna be my favorite flavor. Uh, we are gonna go with the dark blend first and then the vanilla. So. When it comes down to when I drink my coffee, I actually do cream and at least two sugars, uh, depending on the coffee, uh, the brand or the roast and whatnot. So I like it on the sweet side. <laughs> so love it or hate it, I do uh, like my coffee when I do have it more on the on the sweet side. Why not? All right, here we go. Um, the dark blend coffee from Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola Coca -Cola with coffee. And let's see if it gets some ASMR. All right, here it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, when I cracked it open, that initial scent and aroma was definitely coffee, and then right away it came in with the with the Coke uh, smell, and then here it's literally a blend of Coke and coffee aroma. All right, there's a the pour. I mean, if you're not, if you didn't know any better. This is Coke, which is, um, you know, it says it's Coke with coffee. Uh, but I mean, you can see the carbonation, the foam on top. And I just poured it straight in. I didn't do the whole, I may well do it the other one. So I don't know if you guys are going to at me there in the comments for a bad pour. But I just wanted to see how it would react. All right. <laughs> it's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. Because you definitely smell the Coke and the coffee. All right, here we go. Here's the first taste of the dark blend. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do one more. Wow. Wow. Okay. For the dark blend, it's, it's, oh, I'm trying to see how I can figure out how I wanna spit this out here. So initial taste, it's it's the Coke. You get the carbonation, you get like the, the, the natural Coke caramel, uh, notes of flavor and it's very refreshing because it's cool but has the the effervescence of the uh, the carbonation so you get that refreshing coke vibe and then it comes in right away with the coffee flavor on the back end and with the dark blend it doesn't taste dark to me i mean i will see compared to these other ones but it tastes like a normal coffee like uh, i think just the natural sweetness 
that's in Coke already. Let's see, there's 18 grams of sugar. So that's, uh, that's a decent amount of sugar already. But this truly is, I think if you mixed uh, coffee and Coke together, probably more on the Coke side if you did it separate. All right, I mean, dark blend. I can dig it. It's it's not so wild after all. All right, up next, we have the vanilla coffee. Vanilla coffee, again, no other real verbiage on here. Uh, just like the dark blend that I just did earlier. So let's just go right in. Ooh, I hope you guys enjoy that one for all the ASMR fans. All right. All right, ooh, this, the vanilla, you don't get as much of a punch of aroma you you smell it but it's very subtle let's see if i do a better pour for those who are probably cringing with my first pour this is a better pour uh, but again you still get the carbonation you get a little bit of the foam obviously depending on how you um pour it all right so vanilla coke uh not a really that's an old uh combination so you can get vanilla coke people would mix uh, vanilla with Coke originally, or you do uh, an adult beverage like a vanilla vodka and Coke or something like that. But here we go. Vanilla Coke. Pardon me, vanilla coffee. Coke, vanilla coffee. <laughs> oh, ah, okay. This, I, same thing like the, like the dark blend. You have the, uh, refreshingness and the taste of coke on the on the front then on the back end you get the vanilla now the vanilla is very subtle compared to the dark blend it's there but not overpowering it de definitely reminds me of a a cream soda uh type of vibe but not as strong not as strong at least for me uh, i definitely taste the vanilla but it's not as bad and i was kind of worried that it was going to be too vanilla y yeah there we go vanilla y but it, it really wasn't so i think this one this could work but honestly, right now, the dark blend is tasting pretty good. Last but not least, we have the caramel uh, flavored uh, Coca-Cola with coffee. So again, no other verbiage on here, but let's go check it out. One more can opening for you as LR fans. All right. Here's a pour. There you go. And color wise, I think they all looked about the same. I don't think there was any any difference in like shades of color. Oh, the caramel, it's, ah, it's very slight, very slight, even less than the vanilla. Let me see if I can. Yeah, very, 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 very subtle, even less than the vanilla. All right, here we go. We're going in for the taste. All right. Just like the other two, you definitely Coke first, caramel on the back end. I'm trying to aerate that a little bit more, I'm trying to help it out. Yeah, it, again, very subtle. The caramel's there. Wow. Okay, I really thought I would like this the most. It's 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 definitely not number one. You know what? It's there. It it, it kind of has that kind of a burnt, the burnt sugar. I mean, that's essentially what caramel is, is just cooked sugar. But it's uh, it's not there. It's not as uh, appealing to me as I thought it would be. So, oh man. When I have to rank it, I'm going with the, the dark blend, which is pretty wild for me since, uh, you know, like I'm not a huge coffee drinker so I, and I like things on the sweeter side. So, all right, Coke, you know, why not? I mean, like now you have uh, the coffee, you're hitting another market of the coffee drinkers. So I'm going with the, the dark blend as my number one. My number two is vanilla and my number three is caramel. Now they are all, oh, excuse me. I have some, pardon me. I know I'm a heathen. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> all that carbonation in a short amount of time. The The flavors are are, are there. And they're not like oddly, you know, like it's not a bad taste. It's not a bad taste. It, it kind of works. It, uh, however they were able to do it, they were able to actually blend the two flavors together and not really fight each other. So 
Coca-Cola coffee with coffee. All right, now I need to find the uh, the zero sugar one to see if that changes anything. Cause that's usually, they have to figure out another way to sweeten these things up. But these are pretty good. I mean, if you're getting coffee, you kind of might as well get it the one with, uh, with a little bit of everything. Caffeine, sugar, give yourself that little, uh, whoa, let's go. All right, that's it for this one. I'm actually pleasantly surprised how well these taste. I know a few of you out there were reaching out to me when I posted a picture on my, on my Instagram that they were like, no way. This is an abomination. <laughs> this should not have been made, but actually it's not that bad. It really isn't that bad uh, of thinking like it, and it, it tastes pretty good. Uh, when it comes down to it, it tastes pretty good. It's not off putting. So yes, it's definitely going to be a specific uh, taste palette. Um, I'm not going to have this all the time. I'd rather just have a Coke um, or a cherry Coke or something like that, or just a coffee or an iced coffee. But I mean, if it's there, give it a try. I, it's definitely worth a try. And who knows, maybe for some of you, this might be your next new thing. All right, that's it for this episode of Getting Snacky with Daryl. Sorry, it's a little bit of a long one, but this one really blew my mind and I really wanted to give it a fair shot. So you guys take care, have a snacktastic day. Please drop a like, comment, and even share with your friends. If you liked any part of this, I'm really close to a thousand subscribers. So really help if, you, if we can get over that hump. So thanks again. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Getting Snaggy with Daryl. Later.